Okay, we are heading to meet my dad, aka Pop, and my aunt, aka aka means otherwise known as. Sorry, um, Nana Trish. You're coming to meet us halfway to pick up Austin. She's going to hang out for four days. Three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. Halves are important when you're eight. Eight. And I almost a half. I forgot how old you are. <laughs> What are you excited about doing on your little mini vacay? Going to see the movies. Speak up. Going to see the movies. Going to, where are you going to see? Dumbo. 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 And what else are you supposed to be doing? Shopping. How could I not go shopping with my Nana Trish? How could she not go shopping with Nana Trish? Yeah. Yeah. Prayers for Nana Trish for taking her shopping. I'm just kidding. Oh, I hope she can find something you'll wear. Um, let's see. Oh, aren't you going out to eat? Yep. Three times. Four times. Four times. Out back. Stay. Um, cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. And Waffle House or something? I don't know. Crack House. I don't know what she's referring to. She told me last night that Nana Trish was taking her to a crack house. <laughs> I'm gonna crack all over. Okay. Anyway, she doesn't even know what that means to us. And I'm not sure what my aunt told her. I gotta figure this one out. We'll get that straight before I let her leave. So anyway, uh yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. You're gonna have fun. You're excited, right? Yep. Okay, you've never really done this. You haven't gone away by yourself this long. I've gone for two days at Two times. days, so this is like three and a half. It's almost double, yeah. so. Alrighty. Sweet. I'm gonna miss you. You always miss me if I'm one minute away. I do, I always miss you <laughs> one minute away. <laughs> now we moved on to Elvis. You got the lip roll for sure. <laughs> I think you were born a couple few decades too late. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's her right there. You know, Trish got a new car. Sporty. Really, really nice. I bet my dad's driving it. Yep. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. Look at Pop. My dad's so handsome. Look. Look what I'm talking about right there. That man right there. I love him. Hey, baby girl. It's so nice to come home and have a dog that runs up to see you. Bonnie. What are you doing, babe? Did you miss mommy? I know. I've been gone two hours. Two whole hours. Mm, I hear a chainsaw. Maybe I should have stayed gone longer. <laughs> so, we are, um, we're almost done with silage. It's like, it's almost gone. And it is time to work all of our calves. We've got to get that done next week. It's supposed to rain Monday and Tuesday. So, hopefully by the end of the week. We are later than normal. We're later than normal. And by working calves, I mean castrating deworming, vaccinating, all the things that need to be done. So, <laughs> we're much later than normal because of the weather. We just, we haven't been able to get it, get it done. So, oh, I'm not very excited <laughs> because the calves are bigger. The calves are bigger 
and that just means they kick harder. And um, I'm probably gonna have to be the one running them up the chute. So, whoop, whoop. and I don't know. Hopefully, we're gonna get some help. I usually can tails. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know how much of that I'll be able to vlog, but we'll see. I don't know if that's very YouTube friendly. Cannon tails and changing minds. That's what we call it, changing minds. But anyway, that's coming up. And then it's like, it's getting close to spring. I mean, it is spring, basically. And there's just so much to be done. And what's gonna happen is there's gonna be like a week when it all needs to be done at the same time. And it's gonna be, I was about to say something I shouldn't say. It's gonna be hectic. Yeah. All right, I'm just talking to you since I'm sitting here waiting. But that's where we're at. That's what we got going on. That's what we have coming up. Good times, good times. Hopefully. Last load today. Oh, so see the Kelly Ryan. The Kelly Ryan is still out of commission. I don't even know if you knew that. Anyway, the feed wagon is broke. We ordered a part. And um, I don't know. He hasn't gotten it fixed. So he's been feeding one, one little bucket at a time. Oh, bless. But anyway, we're getting there. Almost done with it. Oh boy, I guess there's no time like the present. I've got a relatively free day and I need to do some major cleaning. So hopefully by tomorrow, this will look less like, I don't even know, like I've been making fires in it with wood and ashes and stuff left and more like an oven that someone would actually want to eat food out of. It's a beaut day to take a ride. I'm going to pick up my girl. She's been gone for like almost for four days. I miss her. I miss her a lot. that she referred to was actually the Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel and then they went to a craft house restaurant. So, shoo, got that situated. What was your favorite thing you did with your shopping? Nana Trish. Shopping? Yeah. Do you see the back of my truck? <laughs> it's all stuff that was purchased. Clothes. And I don't... Stuff for West and me. Still at candy. Valentine's stuff that they didn't get. And, um, I like the Valentine's stuff. <laughs> oh, we're glad to have you back there. Are you glad to be home? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. 
There's some puppies happy to see Austin too. <laughs> Bonnie never jumps, ever. She's feeling mighty frisky, you are. You feeling frisky, girl? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's glad Austin's home. That's all. <laughs> Sometimes the road that we travel is long and we look out and we see the mess left behind from things in the past and we worry about the implications for the future but eventually that road is going to go somewhere if we have enough faith and tenacity and believe in ourselves enough to see it through to the end. Just like this field that needs to have corn in it again shortly. But it's still a really big mess from all the rain and the river flooding in the past. And part of us worries that it's not going to get fixed and there's not going to be corn in it this year. And that might happen, but I'm believing that it will happen. There will be corn. The sand will be fixed. The ground will be tended and mended and a crop's going to come out of here again because it has to. And sometimes that's just kind of how we have to look at life. And the road back, maybe all uphill, but once we reach the top, the struggle will have been worth it.